Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have the final portion of my um, Sephora haul, um, the 20% off Beauty Insider event. I think that's what they called it or holiday something. I don't know. They changed it all. But anyway, um, finally got everything in. Um, haven't been able to record because you can tell by my voice <laughs> that I haven't had any voice to even be able to talk. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't have a whole lot, but a little bit. And uh, as I go through, I will um, show you what I um, created my eye look with today. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is actually a product that um, you can get at Sephora, but I didn't actually purchase. It was sent to me through Octoly for review. And um, that is this product here from Kevin Aquan. And it's the Neo Highlighter. Um, looks like this here. Comes in a really pretty velvet case. Is that black? Yes, that's black. I can't hardly tell. So that is black and it is in the color um, Sahara, which is called a Golden Rose Glow. I do have it on. Um, I did um, create the look that I have on today at this morning and it's like six o'clock at night so the only thing that I have freshened up is my lipstick throughout the day but this is what it looks like here now if you are wanting a very very subtle highlighter a subtle glow then this is a product for you you're going to like this because it's not a whole lot of glowiness going on um, you could even use it as a bronzer if you are so inclined if you are very fair complected um, I think if you have any color to you you wouldn't be able to use this as a bronzer but um, here it is um, I personally didn't really um, care for it because it doesn't have um, the kind of glow that I want for my face I like a little bit more uh, luminosity illumination <laughs> and this was just very 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 subtle um, this color this colorway here would be too light for me to even use as a bronzer even this darker portion down here because it's kind of like um, green graduated granulated I don't know I can't even think what I want to say but it's you know lighter to darker and that's the darker color there and you can barely, 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 barely see that there on the skin. So I don't know, maybe as an eyeshadow possibly, but so, but anyway, there it is. I'm still very appreciative of it being, you know, selected to be sent to it or it sent to me. This is going to be a bad video, guys. Oh gosh, I'm just not feeling it. But I've got to get this done because um, I have a deadline on this little guy. So anyway, that's the Kevin Aquan. So this will be linked in the description box. So if you are interested in it, you can go ahead and look at the description box. And then the products that I actually purchased um, with my own money was um, they had given us a bonus weekend for to use the 20% off again. And there was a couple of things that I was wanting to get one that I forgot to order during our original weekend and then another product that had been out of stock but then it came back in stock during that weekend so anyway the first product then is this from Cinema Secrets it's the makeup brush cleanser or cleaner um, I get the big size and I like to get it during the sale so I can get a little bit of money off I use this every morning to spot clean my um, eye brushes. It dries really, really quick. Um, it does just what it says, and um, it has a little bit of an alcohol smell to it when you first use it, but after your brushes have dried, it has a really nice um, vanilla scent to it, but not too overpowering. But it does dry really fast because I can just, you know, put just a little dab of it on a, um, an eye brush and wipe it onto a dry paper towel a few times and then it's dry enough for me to use you know again with a different color so I do like that I have this is what I have left from last year when I purchased it so um, this big container will last a very long time 
and I was noticing something different on my new bottle. It now says here that it's 99.99% bacteria free. So does that mean that this had bacteria in it? <laughs> I don't know. Why does that have that on there? I mean, why? Why is it saying that now? On the back, it says it's bacteria free and dries in seconds. Um, may stain light or white brushes. Yeah. And you just barely want to just barely put your brush into this. Um, the best way that I have found to use it is to um, put it in a spray bottle and spray a little bit onto your paper towel and then wipe your brush on the paper towel. But I do like it and it works good and I use it daily, so I needed another one. And then the pr other product that I was wanting to get, and it was out of stock, it kept coming in and out for some reason. I don't, see, I don't understand this sometimes because it was on the clearance page. Um, you would think that once it says it's out of stock, it's out of stock because you wouldn't think that they would be getting more of it in if they've put it in on the clearance page. I don't know, but anyway, it's from Iborium. And it's the ginseng milk lotion. Um, I wanted to get another product um, that has ginseng in it because I'm gonna be doing a um, video of um, ginseng and how to incorporate into your skincare. And I was really kind of needing another, another product to kind of round out the products that I already have and been using for with ginseng. So I thought this would be a really good one. And it was on clearance and um, got additional 20% off and it's just got a little hole here there's a stopper in there and it's a pour um, so um, there'll be more on this product when I do that video and then I don't know what was going on that day that I happened to look at this but Viseart was had a lot of products marked down on the sale page and then you got the additional 20% off but now when I go back to look at um, the web page these products are back to regular price. I don't know was that just a special for that day? I don't know. I mean, there's so much going on right now with all the different Black Friday cyber <sighs> It's hard to keep track of everything. So anyway, I got this palette here. This is the Viseart um, tr Trist tr Twist <laughs> palette. It's been out for a while. Um, it's not brand new, but it's not you know like old old and it was on my loves list um, to be wanting to try, so why not get it when it's marked down and then you get some more dollars off. And then of course, you know, as you use um, Mr. Rebates or Ebates and get cash back. So that makes it even better. It's got this little, what is this? Oh, it's a little plastic thing that has the names of the eyeshadows on it and it doesn't have it on that. Want want. That's a bummer, but it does have a nice mirror right there, though. So I got that, and um, I'll be playing with it. I'm not going to do a whole lot of swatches, because I might do it like a get ready with me or something with that. And then the one that I have on that I created my eye look with is this one here, and this is from Viseart also. It's the Petite Pro 2. And let me show you what it looks like. I thought the colors in here would match my flannel shirt just perfectly. Do y'all get, okay, let's, let's do a little poll. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Do you match your outfit, your shirt per se to the eyeshadow look that you've created? Or do you get up and create an eyeshadow look with a certain piece of clothing in mind that you're going to wear? I do. I always try to coordinate my eye look with what I'm going to wear and I try to have a visual in my head first of what I'm going to wear for that day before I actually start putting my um, makeup on. But this is just a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I used um, these two matte, all three of these matte colors here, and then this one here, which is like a, um, a satiny finish. So I just thought, I don't know, I just really thought those colors were really pretty and it created a really pretty eye look. And like I said, I've had this on since seven this morning and it's about seven o'clock at night. So 
going strong for 12 hours. And like I said, I did not touch up any of my face makeup other than my lips, my lips, my lips. And then another product from Viseart was the, um, what is this little guy? What? It's one of the Theory palettes. And they have this on clearance too. Which one is this? Oh, let me get my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. What one is this? Oh, this one is Cashmere. It's the Theory palette and this one is in the color Cashmere. I haven't dipped into this one. But that's really pretty. Those colors are really pretty. Right there. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. And it was one that was on my wish list, but I just had never picked it up. And then of course, you know, when it's on sale, and then it's like you're getting a triple discount with on the sale page, it's already marked down, they got another 20% off, and then cash back. So yeah. Ooh, that's really pretty. I may have to wear that tomorrow. That's what that looks like. Just your basic um, nude, nude palette there with a little, with a little extra kick in these two colors right here because this one's kind of a pink color. That's gonna be really pretty. And then the other one that I got was um, the Theory, Theory palette in um, Siren, Siren, Siren. And this one I was surprised to see that it was marked down. But then again, I was surprised to see a lot of these marked down. Anyway, cause I thought this one was fairly new with all those peach colors and then that gold right there. That is so pretty. I really hope, I really hope that y'all can hear me as my voice is later in the day and it's starting to um, really, really, really fade out. I haven't been sick. And I'll, I'll tell you as I'm kind of doing some swatches here. Look at that gold color, isn't that pretty? What happened? Um, Sunday night, um, well, first of all, let me say I've been having some problems with my back again. I've been going to the chiropractor and just, it's just, it's been bad. Um, I haven't talked a whole lot about my seizures. I'm still having seizures after I had my car wreck in June. And when I have a seizure, I always throw my back out. But this last time, it was my neck. Anyway, so Sunday, um, of course, you know, with Thanksgiving and everything, I was only able to go to my chiropractor once last week. And Sunday, I wanted to go do some Christmas shopping, you know, take advantage of some of the Black Friday sales that were still happening, you know, in store and stuff like that. And so I just loaded up on some Tylenol and went and did what I needed to do. Well, Sunday night, about 1130 at night, my husband tells me, I vaguely, vaguely remember. I don't remember the full scope of what happened. But um, he said just all of a sudden I just started screaming at the top of my voice and just kept screaming and screaming and screaming. And he's, you know, telling me, you know, trying to wake me up and, you know, what's going on, what's happening. Finally, when I come to or awake or whatever, He's standing by the side of the bed. The light's already on, and he's got his gun out. And he's like, what is going on with you? Because I didn't know if somebody was, you know, murdering you or what. And for a long time, I couldn't even say anything. I, I mean, I didn't know what happened. So he got up, and he went, you know, and checked the whole house and make sure there was nothing in the house, which we would have heard the alarm go off. And um, he came back in to the bed, and we laid there for a long time with the light on. I mean, we were both, like, scared to death. We didn't know. I don't know. And I vaguely, vaguely remember having the sense that something was coming into my bedroom on my side of the bed to come and do harm to me. Now, whether that, that was a physical, actual physical person, which I really don't think it was because like I said, our alarm would have went off, um, a door would have been unlocked, you know, a window would have been opened, something. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I was hallucinating, if I was dreaming, if it really happened. I don't know. Um, but I know both of us was, was pretty shook. Anyway, so from that intense forcefully screaming for the length of time that I did it, I haven't had a voice since. And that's been several, several days ago. Anyway, I 
couple other things was these play smarts um they had these marked down were they marked down or was it i just got 20 percent off i can't remember and they were 20 dollars, i do believe but anyway they are some samples um based on the the bag that you picked um the, from the sephora play so there's a little bag a little canvas type bag and this one in here was for superfoods inner and outer beauty beauty and they might have had these for a while because they were having some kind of video or something that you could watch that was supposed to happen at on october the 8th at five o'clock that you could watch on your laptop laptop your phone or your tablet so obviously that was you know way past that when i got mine but um then it has all the little cards that talks about the individual products and how to use them it has back here i guess where you could have taken notes while you were watching that particular video um, on how to use the products but anyway so they were pretty much just deluxe size samples, but I didn't think that it was that bad of a price for the amount that you're getting. One of them was this here, which is some vitamins or little gummies from Hum. And um, it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid, vitamin C plus E, but there's just a few gummies in here. There's not enough really to tell if it's going to do anything internally for your body. Um, there was a shampoo and conditioner from Rahu. One is for voluminous shampoo and one is for voluminous conditioning. I probably won't use those. Those will go somewhere else. But this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this kit. And this is from Youth to the People. It's the kale and green tea spinach vitamins um, age prevention cleanser. I got in that used to the people oil, face oil that I'm really liking. So I wanted to try another product from this brand. So that was in there and that's, that's pretty good size sample that will last a week, two weeks possibly. Then it had in here the herbivore pink cloud, a little moisturizer and a go to very useful face cream. I never heard of that brand, so I thought that was kind of interesting. And then it had a little Bite Beauty lipstick in there. So that was what was in that kit. And then the other one that I got here, and I think this one you picked based on your age. So I picked the one that was, um, Was it the one that was based on your age or maybe not but this one was superfoods feed your face in this one the little program was on back in august i thought i was thinking there was one that was supposed to be based on your age but maybe i don't know i don't remember anyway there was a tart product in here and it is the tart rainforest of the sea mermaid skin serum and it's a pretty good size sample of the serum oh and it had the, the bag again another bag and a, another youth to the people this is the makai achy prickly pear goji oil this is the one that i bought the full size of that i really do like but now i have a deluxe size sample that i can use for traveling if we ever get to go anywhere anymore and then this product, I definitely wanted to try this. This is the um, the Origins. Oh, I got my glasses. I can't see that, but it's the Dr. Andrew uh, Well for Origins. It's the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion. And I've always wanted to try something from that mushroom line. Definitely smells earthy. That's for sure. <laughs> interesting and then it also had a deluxe size sample well it's really not a deluxe size sample but just a sample of this powder from the brand Ilia Ilia and I've been wanting to try it so that was in that kit 
And there's a couple other things. Let's see, this one here is um, First Day Beauty. It's the Coconut Water Cream Primer. That's a good product. I have a full size of that, so I'll probably do give that um, sample away. And then this product here is the Dr. Robux No Worrying Hydrating Face Moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid, uh, macadamia oil, and vitamin E. So that sounded like that would be really good moisturization for this time of year. Let's open that and do a little sniff and see what it smells like and how moisturizing it is. I don't know, it's kind of, well, it's kind of hard to tell. But it is a cream. Might make a good, a good day cream because it looks a little light for a night cream. But I don't know though. Let's pretty intense anyway so that is it for um, this episode of a Sephora all <laughs> I do have some more stuff coming that I ordered during the Black Friday and also there was a day for whatever reason they were running Surat Beauty 50% off all of it so I went a little ham on Surratt Beauty so there's going to be a Surratt haul coming up pretty soon too so anyway thank you so much for joining me I like I said I hope you were able to hear me I'm sorry if you couldn't but I just this is it this is all the voice that I have left from the day <laughs> anyway thank you again so much and I'll talk to you soon